Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are with Mr. Ryan Season, aka the Tony Stark of the Philippines. <laughs> so we are at his office right now, and as you can see behind us, parang malata sa office. It feels like I am actually in a movie or like in a museum. So we'll talk about that later. Quick background lang on how I was able to get to know Ryan. Uh, the wholesome, the wholesome, the wholesome version. <laughs> so the whole, the first time that I actually met him was on Instagram. So I was a fan before you knew me. I was already following you. I was looking at your lifestyle, the cars that you have. Sure, I was a big fan. I was dreaming for that. And when I started Second Skin, I just messaged Ryan like, "Hey, I started a rap shop. You might be interested in he rapping." He slid into my DMs. Yeah, I slid into his DMs. <laughs> Alam mo yon. Tapos he actually replied, and he was like, "Yeah, cool. Where's your shop?" Sabi ko, it's in White Plains. And he was like, "Sige, I'll drop by one of these days." So pumunta siya don, dalan yung SLS niya. And he was like, "Oh, I need to replace the bumper, ganyan ganyan." Sabi ko, "Sige." So after doing that, naging happy ka naman. I think. Oh yeah, very happy. Yeah. Very happy. So and then sinunod niya yung Ferrari F430 Spider, and then the Eleanor. Eleanor. Yeah. So. It was nice. It was a pretty cool uh, encounter, and he trusted me even without knowing me. Very interesting first meet, yeah. Very interesting yeah. first meet. So actually, do not my first time nagita in person, and the idiwan yung car niya, and we talked about, you know, the rest was history. You mentioned before that the cars that you have was based on uh, movies. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, because my, my passion really is uh, my first love is uh, movies. Movies. Ever ever since I was a kid, you know, I'd watch a movie and I would watch it, rewatch it, and rewatch it. And um, back then. And since I didn't have any budget yet, I couldn't buy toys. So I had this thing that, parang, uh, parang repressed na hindi ako mahabili ng toys. Eh. Yeah. So the moment na I was able to save up before college, that's when I started collecting figurines, and then it grew, and then it grew into this. Yeah. Life what size you see now, now life size. Okay. So with cars, most of the cars that I've had or have are from movies. From movies. So there's the, of course, the Aston Martin DB9, James, James Bond. Bond. Uh -huh. And then there's the Camaro SS from the first Transformers. Okay, Bumblebee. Yeah, and yeah. there was the SLS AMG from the Dark of the Moon, Transformers the first movie. Did, right? Yes, uh -huh. the first car we did. The F430 uh, Ferrari is actually from Miami Vice. Ah, yeah. so lahat talaga, it's from, Miami from Vice. movies talaga, no? Every single Pretty one. Cool. Then of course, uh, the R8. Or from Tony Stark. Iron Man. Of yeah. Mostly movies. Even the Hummer. The Hummer is from um, bad Transformers. Boys. Transformers. <laughs> yeah, bad, bad Boys. Yeah. Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Eh. Bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. So, what was your first car ever? My first car ever? I was 19 and my parents gifted me a Toyota RAV4. Toyota RAV4. Yeah. Toyota, was that Toyota also Toyota part of a RAV4. movie somewhere? No, 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 no. no. Maybe some uh, Filipino movies. I don't know. <laughs> Kimo pinapasabog. <But> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe naman. Reliable yun, bro. Actually, matiba yun. Matiba. Oh, matiba yun. And it's then still there, downstairs. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We use it as a company car now. Oh, it's solid, solid. Yeah. So after that, what was your first uh, movie car naman? My very first movie car, sports car, I got it early 2000. It was an SC430 Lexus. Okay, okay. Uh, which was uh, featured in Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. It was the car, it's a silver... Um, coupe uh, driven by Cristana Loken, the Terminatrix in the movie. You should have it. It's in the States. It's in the ah, States. Yeah, that's my so car. That's in the States. You had it in the States. Okay, yeah. okay. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. You have all the movie cars. Would yeah. you say that you're planning to get more movie cars in the future? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, can you give us a sneak peek of what you're planning to do? I'm a big fan of Batman. So yeah. I've had the Murcielago. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a Batman shoot with that. Batman we'll shoot, show you yes. That. Yeah. But I think I would rather, you know, stick with an Aventador, Aventador. the one that was, uh, I know, featured in The Dark Knight. Oh yeah, yung Biranganya. Dark Knight Rises, pala Aventador na yun. Eh. Biranganya yun, ba? In the movie. Ah, Murcielago Biranganya. Ah, okay. Yung ano, the Aventador is the one that Catwoman stole from him. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So Batmobile, yun yung Batmobile. Uh, for me, kasi uh, the ultimate car to have, the sports car, would be the Batmobile. Is it the first the, generation? My favorite, the my, no, the Tumblr is like a tank, ne? Yeah. But my favorite is the 1980, 1989 Michael Keaton one. Yeah. The one with the parang may cockpit na gumagawa. Yung mahaba, yung may Very sleek, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, bat yeah. wings. There's one uh, working one, diba? In Dubai. There's a, there's a working one in the States. There, there's actually a company that makes it. You can order. But right now, as we speak, I'm having one made. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So I have, I have a future plan. What's, the, what's for the timeline it. for that? Hopefully, this September this year. Wrap it, na? Yes. Are we gonna wrap it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the we, we, we need to protect the Batmobile, right? Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be the only one in the country. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, siempre like, uh, the Batman, we have 
all these um, collectibles Lights, that yes. you have. And Dubai, you have a plan for this? We want to tell everyone about this. Yes, so um, this year, we will be opening, um, well, a culmination of my collections for over two decades. I've been collecting for, yes, I, I basically told you my real age. Uh, <laughs> 20 pa lang siya, guys. So, yeah, so it's, it's going to be called the Multiverse Museum. Uh, all universes in one roof. So, it, it will uh, feature all my collections. It's not just a regular uh, common uh, museum because it's going to be interactive. Uh, interactive museum. So parang ano, parang theme park na rin siya, but niya. not a theme park. It's it's a museum, but hindi siya yung boring. Na, it's just like a showcase. Okay. So uh, every single universe room, we, we call each room a universe. So it's going to be interactive. It's going to be educational, uh -huh. and uh, it's going to be very fun. Because I've been to to uh, museums around the world and amusement parks, and I know what well, I know what I like. Yeah. Gusto ko yung paglabas ko ng museum na yon. Parang, hey, I want to go back. So, yeah, Something that the, you look it's, forward it's, to it's, going it's back. My, it's, it's always been my dream. In, uh, every collector's dream, I think, is to share their passion with other people. Yeah. And I think the ultimate um, expression of that would be a museum. And finally, I'm doing it. Congrats. Dude. Yeah, thank you, so thank you. And I can't wait for all of this to be in the proper universe. Oh, yeah. I'm yes. sure you're going to do the same background, the lighting and the sounds and everything. Yes, so every room talaga. will be thematic. Um, there will be dioramas. Okay. Um, without giving out too much. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah um, it's like you're going to be, you're going to feel it's like you're, you're in the movie. Good, solid. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who are you know, interested in something like that. Because there's nothing like that. It's going to be the first and only one. Correct? I think so. Yes, I believe so. Solid, solid. Okay, so can you give us a walkthrough of your collection like ilan na yung meron kang statues and all that do you have an idea i actually don't <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I don't i don't have an exact number anymore but it's in the high thousands already high thousands yeah because i know i started with small collectibles yeah and i still have it in my in my stock room okay yeah so i'll be featuring every single one in the museum well so, so good, no? aside from life size that you can see here there will be scaled all, all scales will be there. All scale statues. Yeah. Right, so I can't wait to see how you're going to do that. I'm yeah. Sure it's you know, going to be it, super it's, interesting. It's very well thought out. You know, right now, the theme of most uh, blockbuster movies are, is multiverse. Yeah. Kaya nga, yeah. I, actually, I, just... I actually have a YouTube channel that um, it's been in existence for a couple of years. And the, the, the name of the, the YouTube page is The Multiverse. Oh, you do. So even before the theme of mga movies, meron ka na. multiverse na ko. Ah, so okay. ba, I'm sure you've seen Spider-Man: No Way Home. Yes. Where they featured uh, three generations of Spider-Man. So yeah. there's Tobey Maguire, then there's Andrew Garfield, and then there's Tom Holland, of course. Correct. So that palang is a taste of the multiverse. Eh. Okay. It's, it's actually a genius idea so that they could um, bring all the movies together instead of leaving them in the past. Ang galing ay, kasi before, when I was watching those movies, I was wondering, paano yan? Like, hindi siya consistent eh. Every movie was may different. different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So parang magugulan yung tao na, bakit may tatlong version? And then yeah. now they combined everything. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah, they glued everything together. Galing. Yeah, galing, galing, si, magaling si Marvel. Galing, galing. And now with the multiverse of mad, Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness. I actually just watched it last week. Did you like it? I like it. A stick, diba? Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's, it's actually directed by Sam Raimi. Yeah, the director of the first three, uh, three Spider-Mans. Okay. Yeah. Galing ng, galing ng isip yung yeah, kaya nagawa, medyo no? horror effect siya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. there pa lang, we're getting another taste of what Marvel is um, cooking, di ba? The multiverse. And ang galing nasabay yung multiverse mo with the yes, multiverse nila. Yeah, yeah nagkataon. Yeah. 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 Aside from Marvel, yeah, DC kasi, ganun din yung theme nila. So the so they're also uh, going into the multiverse, multiverse, multiverse and sila. So they're they're doing the starting up the multiverse theme ng DC through the Flash. Okay. The Flash. Okay. Um, Wala so, pa, no? Di pa so na release, no? yeah, it's starring ano, Ezra Miller as the Flash. If you if you've seen the trailer, he's actually going through different timelines. So the Michael Keaton Batman from 1989 is there, and I hear rumors that even Ben Affleck as Batman is going to be there as well. Yeah. Chris, I'm not sure, but I heard Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton. Okay, that's very sure. interesting. So, yeah, magiging magulong magulo na talaga yung. Yeah, well, it's it's a way of you know, um, doing everything together. Because sayang naman yung mga ano nyan eh, mga totoo, totoo. universes that they made before. Okay, it's a way of honoring the other generations. Alright, so let's go back to the multiverse here in the Philippines. Yes. 
So do you have an idea when it will actually be open to the public where we can actually come visit and... So right now, the Multiverse Museum is uh, under construction. Um, I cannot really announce where it will be, uh, where it will be okay. but it will be big. It will be big. Like how, we how talked big about this. It's yeah. big. It's big. <laughs> it's well, big. It has I mean, to, to, house, to, house, exactly. to house all the universes. So yeah, there's yeah, Star yeah. Wars, there's DC, there's Marvel, there's... You know, there's a lot will be there. That'll so be super cool. I mean, to house everything actually it's not even enough to house everything so okay, this but but more, this will be the first yeah multiverse first museum the first yeah so it's going to open this september hopefully well congrats because i don't want to i don't want to look forward to oh okay. yeah I'm, I'm i'm excited for it solid dude so siguro we can go around and take a look at all the things that you have here. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It'd be my, uh, my pleasure to, uh, to show you my collections. See, of all the collections that you have, what is your favorite? My favorite, favorite universe, sorry. My favorite universe, well, of course, Iron Man. I'm a big fan of uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Tony Stark well, and you are, Iron you are Man. technically the Tony Stark of the Philippines I'm, right now. So. I'm just a collector. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a fan. It's not like I'm trying to emulate his life in any way. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just like it. I just, I just like how his car looks, yeah. you know. Yeah, plus, you know, um, I don't know if you know this, but Robert Downey Jr. lost his way. Sh mismo. He is in a, he's an actor, but back then he was a B, maybe B-class actor. And then he lost his way, he got into drugs, um, he was uh, jailed. Okay. Yeah, that's when he got out of jail. John Favreau, the director, got him to play Iron Man. And everything changed for so, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galing. Yeah, and just like Tony Stark, cause Tony Stark in the comic books is an alcoholic. Okay, so it fits He's in. an alcoholic, he fell, he stumbled, and then he got back up. And then, you know, the rest is history. Iron yeah, Man, yeah. the superhero. And now, he's the one that led the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's it's kind of symbolic, no? Getting yeah. to Robert Downey Jr. And then to play Tony Stark. Yeah. Na parang pareho yung pareho. Buhay. So parang it's really meant to be. Oh yeah, I think so. I think so. So, aside from being a collector, of course, uh, what other things do you do? Well, um... Pop culture and uh, uh, life-size collectibles is my hobby. Yes. But of course, I, I, I need a day job. Yeah. So what, is, what is your <laughs> my day job? My day job is um, I'm a publisher okay. of um, nationwide uh, newspaper, Very tabloid. One, of course. Yeah, it's called uh, Bulgar Newspaper. And we are Bulgar actually tabloid. the head office and right This now. is the head office. Yeah. It may not look like an office, but it's an office. <laughs> it's the uh, is, is museum that, in the office. It's just that my, my collectibles just creep. In and took over. Everything. Actually, parang yung office may na creep in this. Yeah. If, if, if you could pan the, the, the camera, you could see it's an office. There's a small office in the corner, and everything is collectibles. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm a publisher, and I'm the editor of the newspaper as well. We've been in uh, existence for well since 1991. Okay. Yeah, we're Adal the widest na. circulated newspaper in the country. Awan and just okay naman. Even through the pandemic, yeah. okay naman we stayed and still going strong. That's and aside from that, you also do. You invest in other things also, right? Yes, aside from um, my hobby, which is uh, pop culture, and aside from journalism, uh -huh. um, I love to cook. I in my free time, you know. If you guys look at his stories every day or every night, makikita mo he cooks steak, like something very gourmet. So, <laughs> talaga, dude, naka, yeah. I, just, I just love to cook. I just love to yeah. cook. I don't, I don't have proper training. Yeah. I, I, I wish that I, don't know, I could enroll in a culinary school and you know actually learn from professionals, but I'm not professionally trained. I just love to cook. So I'm one of those, you know, who watch YouTube, I memorize it, and then I try to make it my own. Mostly, I, I cook gourmet. Since my passion is food, yeah, you gotta be a foodie. Yeah. I mean, you, you gotta know your food, right. you gotta know the taste, right. um, what it's supposed to look like. For me, because food, it shouldn't be just taste. It should be an entire experience. Yeah, yeah. So first you eat with your eyes, so it, it's gotta look nice. It's gotta smell nice, diba? Ako kasi, the way I eat, I process it in my brain, not just my palate. Mm -hmm. Coming from there, that's when I started venturing into restaurants. I partnered up with a couple of restaurants. Uh, on top of my head, the Wolfgang Steakhouse. Oh, my favorite. It's my favorite steakhouse. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. But honestly, not like, being biased. Of but, yeah. all the steakhouses I've tried, Wolfgang is really one of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, when Wolfgang Zwiener brought it in with my partner, Sila Raymond Magdurio, um, I believe in the product and I just had to partner up with them. You know, sobrang good move. Yeah. yeah. Congrats the, on that. The, the, our steaks are, uh, no, I, I think, second to none. Aside from um, Wolfgang Steakhouse, um, I'm also with uh, Grupo Alegria, with um, Mayor Randy Salamat. So yeah, we have a couple of um, branches. Wolfgang has two or three, I believe. 
And Alegria, Grupo Alegria has, I think, seven branches. So we have Cafe Alegria around Burgos Circle. And uh -huh. then there's going to be one, it's called Buena Vida in the Uniqlo building. So that's okay. a bar, a okay. bar. And then so there's fourth a floor. Um, so fourth floor, yeah. Okay. And then there's the um, tasting menu, the high-end um, dining, okay. which is going to be an uptown BGC. Wow. Yeah, everything's the, everything is opening this year. Uh, we have Alegria Singapore. Wow. And um, there's an upcoming Alegria Dubai. Our Molito branch in Alabang is about to open. There's so much happening. Huh? Yeah. Congrats. Of course, we have another branch in La Union. Okay. La Union. A steakhouse also. Or ah, no, 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 Aside from that, uh, we were also opening um, a fast food chain called Mang Jose. Okay. It's a uh, Inasal barbecue. Uh, we have two branches uh, under construction now. One is in so Alfonso. So this is a new concept. New concept, yes. One is opening in in Alfonso, and the other one is in La Union. So La Union, I see you're investing there also. Yes, south and north. Yeah. So you have a lot of collections, movie cars. Statues, movie cars, and everything. Yeah. You have Pop a bunch culture. of restaurants, really high-end ones. So, what's next for you aside from the multiverse? Aside from all of that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find time to, ano nga, um, go into culinary talaga. I really want to study. Okay. I mean, I, I proper feel like study talaga. proper study. I want to be professionally trained. Do you want to study here lo locally or? Uh, I think locally because I, I have a lot of responsibilities here. I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I can't go flying abroad yeah, anytime yeah. soon. So I have to. I have to remain here and focus on what's in my what's in my plate right now because I have a lot. But yeah, I I have a lot, I have a lot of future plans. But for now, focusing on what I have here is you know, like a paramount. Dude, Galen, I wish you all the best. Thank I'm you. Sure thank you, Archie. Whatever thank you. you're gonna do, it's gonna be amazing. Because right now, palang it's kind of crazy na, and you're doing everything sabay sabay. How do you juggle all of these uh, things that you're doing? I actually asked myself that question. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I see you, you know, you're busy with work, you're busy with your family. And you still have the time to actually be with your friends and to I try, I try, I try to, to balance. I try to balance things out. Uh, that's the that's the key. Eh. Yeah, you really have to balance it. Hindi pa din puros work, hindi pa din puros saya, hindi pa din puros and everything has to be balanced. Okay. So you how know, do you balance it? Time management, some... like, eh. time management. You really have time to. Management. You really have to. I uh, know. Um, give time and uh, prioritize things. You know, there's also uh, religion. So I, I make sure that every Sunday. I get to uh, no, attend uh, service. I go to CCF. Um, aside from that, siyempre, I need to budget my time and spend time with my children. And then spend time with my mom. So, galing how you manage to really, you know. Yeah, somehow it all works. It, you know, everything works naman so far. I try not to bite more than I can chew. But, okay naman. Okay naman. Sobrang inspiring with the things that you do na. Ako right now, I only have like, Second skin, of course, and I'm already having a hard time balancing that. Yeah, but you know, busy is good. I always tell you, busy is busy good. Is good. Oh, yeah. Pero you have to uh, have time for yourself. Never forget that. And health, of course, health. Trying Especially to now. To... I mean, with the <laughs> pandemic right now, you know, it taught us that health is wealth, talaga. So talking about health, nagugutom na ako. Let's try some of your steak from Mosca. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So before we end our session, I'd like to ask you. What is your favorite movie of all the movies you watched and I guess favorite movie quote? Right now, my favorite movies has been Marvel from Marvel, Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe. So from the Infinity War, I love you 3000. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> very iconic. Yeah. All right, Ryan. So thank you so much for having us here in your office. Of course, my for, pleasure. For the my time pleasure. that you gave for us. Uh, before we end, is there anything you want to uh, share to our viewers where they can find you, your socials and anything you want to promote? Yes, um, it would be awesome if you could follow my teaser uh, page for the Multiverse Museum. It's called the Multiverse Museum PH. It's on Instagram and uh, Bulgar underscore um, online for our Instagram page for Bulgar. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. So just type in Bulgar on Facebook. It'll pop up. Our newspaper is uh, printed daily nationwide. So please buy. Um, you know, uh, most people would say tabloid, fake news, it's not true. We've been in existence for since 1991. And yeah, we stay true to our, our uh, mantra that uh, 
responsible journalism. And aside from that, you know, please uh, support our restaurants. Uh, you know, you know how it is now with the, with the pandemic. The food and beverage industry is it needs all our help. So Wolfgang Steakhouse, our branches at Odium, BGC, and Resorts World, and um, Alegria, Cafe Alegria and Burgos Circle, uh, Cantina Molito in Molito, Alabang is about to open and um, our branches in uh, Uptown BGC and Singapore and soon to be in Dubai. And go. watch out for the Multiverse uh, Museum uh, opening this year, September. Thank you, Mr. Tony Stark. That's amazing. And it's amazing how you memorize all of that right off the bat. So, <laughs> 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 so thank you again for your time. Super thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go around, take a look at uh, what you yeah, have here for let's us. Go. So once again, I'm Archie Chang from Second Skin Industries. This is Ryan Season. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next video.